Hi everyone, we are back and today we're going to be showing you how we made these concrete borders here and there. We have another video on how to make these DIY concrete pavers and we'll add a link to that at the end of this video. Before we add the weed barrier and rock, we decided to remove the wood borders because they started to rot from all the years in the rain. I love how durable concrete is and we won't ever have to worry about this wearing down. The best part is that it only cost us $18 in concrete for both sides. These concrete borders, we ended up making them 4 inches wide. I wouldn't recommend going any narrower than that got your mixing tub or you can use a five gallon bucket just depending on how much um, concrete you're going to need to mix. We have some two by fours. If you're going to create a curve you can also use uh, plywood because it's more um, flexible. Then you need a shovel or something to mix the concrete with. You'll need some stakes. Um, I just used some scrap wood we had lying around and I just cut the corners at the end But you can always buy these at your hardware store Screws you'll need um, one and a half inch screws and Then you have uh, a set of different concrete trowels here. You have an edger <coughs> To create a nice uh, soft corner And then you have this for the joints and then your standard trowel, flat trowel, steel trowel. Two by fours here, the standard two by four by eight. And you can see here, since we didn't need an additional 30 inches, we just connected them here with another piece of wood, just screwed that together. The first step is to excavate. If you have grass, make sure you dig that out. I'm digging about two inches down. I wanted one and a half inches of the border to be above the ground to keep our rock in place. Using a standard square shovel is perfect. Uh, they're about 10 inches wide. So if you're making a four inch border, that leaves the perfect amount of space for your two by fours and your stakes. So now I'm just getting the form ready, making sure everything is aligned and looks straight. Um, just eyeballing it at first, and then I'll go ahead and Use my tape measure to make sure everything is at 4 inches. I don't have a sledgehammer so I'm just using a 5 pound dumbbell we had lying around just to drive the stakes into the ground. I made sure to pre-drill the stakes so that we wouldn't crack or split the stakes when I screwed them in. Our entire yard was just flat and dirt when we were, our home was built. So literally everything you see in the yard from the concrete to pergola, uh, the barbecue, fire pit, the wooden fence, um, the planters, all the trees and plants that are DIY. So it's really nice to see everything coming together and growing. That section to the left is also going to be a planter, so stay tuned for that video. You could definitely skip this step. I'm just adding a small layer of gravel just because we had some extra lying around, but it's definitely not necessary. Here I'm using some motor, used motor oil to coat the form. You can use cooking oil, but I highly recommend doing this because it really prevents the wood from sticking to the concrete. So when it's time to remove the form, after four days, it'll just come off like butter. I have a concrete mixer, which I can link in the description, but since this job doesn't require a lot of concrete, I'm mixing it manually in a mixing tub. You can also use a five gallon bucket and attach a mixing blade or to a drill, and that's pretty easy as well. Also, if you like getting your socks dirty, make sure you wear Crocs like I did. Now I'm just taking the concrete and laying down the first layer. 
You can take your shovel or anything to shake up the concrete or vibrate it, which will help fill in the cracks in the small voids. Also, if this is your first time, don't be intimidated. You actually have plenty of time to work with concrete, so you don't have to rush anything. I'm working the concrete in. It looks like oatmeal at first, but as you push the concrete down and shake it up a bit, it really starts to smooth out. Your standard trowel is about four inches or so, or it's too wide for this gap. So I'm using my three and a half inch magnesium float and that worked perfectly. Now that the first layer is in, I'm getting to, ready to add a second layer. This time I'm only using half a bag of concrete. And there's Olive, one of my awesome little helpers. She's actually really super good at laying concrete, but she just wanted to take it easy for this video, which is fine. Now I'm just going over the top and scraping off excess concrete um, and using a trowel to push down the top layer, which allows the smooth cream to rise up to the surface. And as I see any low spots as I'm going along, I'll just add some concrete to that section. It's time to take the edging trowel and carefully go along both sides and create that soft corner or edge. And as I do this, you, um, I'm vibrating the concrete a little bit and I'm pushing down to uh, allow the cream to rise up again. Again, here's another look at that edging trowel. This is what I just used to create that soft edge. I'll make sure to add a link in the description for um, a trowel set that includes the edging trowel, the uh, flat trowel, steel trowel, and also this trowel here, which you can use to create the joints. So I'll be using this every 30 inches or so to create joints so that we can control where the concrete will end up cracking. It's been four days, so I'm removing the forms. And since I applied the oil to the wood before laying the concrete, everything comes off without any effort. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a beautiful day. We have a lot of exciting projects coming up for the backyard, so we hope to see you on the next video.